Welcome once again, gentlemen. Week two of the fantasy season. Week four of Dick's weekly rant. We thought we'd start the rant off today by doing something a little different, and uh, we're gonna read a letter that we got to the rant. Let's pick a random letter. Let's see here. Aha, here's one. Let's see. Dear DWR. Chris Johnson rolled your ass up this week. Great call on the number two player you don't want on your team. Your predictions suck ass. Sincerely, Rocky Brown. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's kind of harsh, but, uh, man. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> that's tough, but, uh, let me just say one thing to you, Rocky. <laughs> It's called Deke's Weekly Rant. It's not called Deke's Fantasy Football Expert Advice, okay, for starters. <laughs> but if we are talking about uh, Deke's picks, <laughs> let's move on from Chris Johnson, who I have under good authority is a listener and watcher of the rant, <laughs> and he knew I was playing him in both leagues this week, <laughs> and, he, and he had it out for me. He had it out for DWR, okay? So, let's move on. If we're gonna, I know it's only week two, but if we're gonna talk about Chris Johnson, let's talk about some of Deke's other picks, shall we? <laughs> uh, Drew Brees, no brainer, he's got nine touchdowns. He's well on his way to being the MVP. Uh, bust, okay, you know, Romo, Romo had a, a good day and a bad day, we can call that a wash, but I, I, I have a feeling uh, Steven Jackson hasn't, Hasn't smelled the end zone yet, so... <laughs> Bust! Uh, rookie of the year, Percy Harvin, hey! A touchdown in each of his first two games, I would call that uh, a nice start. And, uh, let's see. Chad Ochocinco, 90 yards a game and a TD. I'll take that for a comeback player of the year. <laughs> and while we're talking about Romo and Edwards, let's see... Let's see what the two have done so far, since we did predict Edwards to have more points than Romo this year. And let me tell you something. If it, if it was a two-week season, <laughs> Edwards wins by a point, my friends. Week one, a good day for Romo. 353 yards, three TDs, 32.2 points. Looks like Deke's way off. Edwards, 212, two TDs, 22.9. Looks like Deeks, you know, Edwards did all right, but, you know, Deeks blowing it there. But week two comes, and uh, Edwards throws three picks. <laughs> Ed, um, Edwards. Romo throws three picks. Edwards. I don't think Edwards has ever had a three-pick day in his career. Romo. 11.3 points week two. 21.6 out of Edwards. 22.9 his first week. That's called consistency, gentlemen. <laughs> And Edwards is ahead by a point right now. I, more to come, gentlemen. I'm not going to let that one go. You, you can pay me 12 and a half right now, Beak. You want to get out for half price? I'll give it to you today. But I hope you had your notepad and pencil, gentlemen. Because the rant had a lot to say today, and I'm sweating. Because if you would have joined me... <laughs> and picked Edwards in the 10th round instead of Romo in the 3rd or 4th, you would have made out like a bandit and had an extra point to boot. So don't neglect the rant. And Chris Johnson, if you're listening, how dare you do that to me? Don't worry. Chris, hey, let me just explain something. In week, in week 1, when Chris Johnson had a mediocre day, I called Beak. And I said, Chris Johnson looks like a freaking badass. But, you know, Lendale White's going to be stealing touchdowns. And the only reason why I included him in my list is because he made me come up with the list. He brought the idea to my attention. Next week, the list is going to be top... We don't have time for a top five this week, but next week, tune in for the top five players on your team that you hate to have to cheer for. 
Join me, gentlemen, on the rant next week. Adios. Adios.